What is up guys and girls, Mr. P here in my EC6. New day just happened. And apparently there's a lot of controversy around the 150 kilowatt hour battery. So today we're going to answer all those misconceptions once and for all. I got some, I got the original script actually. The whole battery is all about explaining the technology inside it. We're also going to be talking about the future of Neo Day and uh, what new products will be released in the future. A lot of misconception is around the word adopt. A lot of people think adopt means, you know, there's some technology from CATL that maybe might be uh, used by Tesla or some other guy. Now, I actually got the script right here and I'm gonna tell you exactly what this thing is all about. So, back in 2019, Neo invested in this company called Huineng Keji, Prologium Technology. So they specialize in making solid state batteries and the technology behind it. With their solid state battery, with their technology, they achieved a 300% increase in battery production capacity while reducing the costs by 20%. So that's their specialty, their special tech. So Neil invested in this company to produce solid state batteries. Now, people think that, hey, Will this tech be also used by Tesla and everybody else since the CATL is Neo's battery partner? Well, I got the script right here for you. The brand new 150 kilowatt hour battery will not be completely solid state battery. This is the misconception right here. So when they met the word adapt, it means that part of the battery will be using solid state battery technology and the rest will just be normally normal battery tech this is the big misconception all right i got the script right here right it says attention all right because solid state battery tech is really hard to produce the new 150 kilowatt hour batteries use solid state battery tech note it's not a solid state battery all right, so part of the battery will be using solid state tech and the rest will just be normal battery. So there's still a lot of developments to be made for this battery in order for this battery to become fully solid state. All right, so with the adoption of solid state tech inside this battery, they're able to achieve 50% increase in energy density. All right, so adopting just means they're going to use part of the battery as solid state battery. It's not completely solid state battery. Now, when it comes to will, will Tesla have access to this technology? The answer is no. Neo invested in this company. So Neo has the exclusive rights to this tech. Neo has also partnered with CATL and they even have a joint venture together. So they're pretty much really really good partners and CTL will help manufacture these batteries now when it comes to CTL and Tesla's relationship Tesla is more like a customer for CTL they don't have it like a partnership like Neo and CTL does will Tesla be able to get this new battery tech they will not so I hope this solves a misconception it doesn't mean that this tech is CTL tech it means that this tech is Neo's tech. Neo bought it and invested this Taiwanese solid state battery company for the tech, and they're gonna use some of the tech inside their new battery. Doesn't mean the whole battery is gonna be solid state, all right? Let me make that clear. Part of the battery will use solid state tech, hence the word adopt, all right? I hope that solves all the misconception. If you guys see any naysayers out there spreading rumors or anything like that, tell them. You're wrong. Go watch Mr. P's video. He's got everything explained. Neo, they're partnered with CTL. They're good partners. Whereas CTL and Tesla, Tesla's just a customer for CTL. Cool. Now let's talk about future releases. What kind of future releases can we expect? Now I was able to uh, talk to Magic MX. If you guys haven't seen that interview with him, go check that out. I was able to chat with him after the release and see what his opinion is and also get the inside scoop for you guys on what will be the next car. So, Neo Day happens once every year. And the Neo Day that just happened was actually Neo Day 2020. The audio just cut out, so I'm gonna finish this part in the studio. 
So there's a new day every year and the new day that just happened was new day 2020. There's going to be another new day at around December of this year, new day 2021. And, and what's going to be released on this new day is the 200 kilowatt hour battery. And that's probably going to be purely so solid state. The ET5, which will be the cheaper sedan and also possibly a refresh for the ES8. This new ET5 and the 200 kilowatt hour battery, they're slated for release in 2023. And the ES8 refresh will probably happen, be announced at Neo Day 2021, but you know, released to everyone 2024, possibly. Share this video with all the Neo investors. Make sure they understand what's actually happening. Together, we can extinguish this fire of misconception. Thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely like, subscribe, check out my other cool videos. Take care. Peace out.